Shop cleanliness. That's what this video is about. We're going to add a dust sweep to my dust collection system to help keep the shop cleaner. So if you're interested in that, stick around. I'm Michael. This is Maker at Play. My previous videos, I've shown you how I've put in my dust collection system. So in this video, I'm adding to that system by putting in a dust sweep to make it easier for me to clean up the garage. Be nice just to be able to sweep up whatever dust is on the floor, sweep it into a little pile, and just have it sucked right up into the dust collection system. So one of the main runs of my dust collection ductwork drops right down here next to my table saw and my joiner. So at the bottom of this dust collection pipe is where I decided to put my dust sweep. It's a very convenient place to put it and it made a lot of sense to be there as I didn't have to run any extra pipe to get to it. It's almost like an extra bonus just to have it down there at the bottom. So just like my other projects, I kind of just made this one up as I go. I just decided that, okay, it's going to be at the bottom of that dust collection pipe. I'm going to make it out of some half inch scrap plywood that I just happened to have away. So I just grab a piece out of my scrap pile and then I grab the actual four inch pipe and the blast gate that I'm going to use for the dust sweep and set it on top of the plywood and start just kind of drawing out what I think this should look like. So I know that the blast gate is going to come in from the top of the dust sweep. And I know I want the front of the dust sweep to be wider than the back to make it an easier target to be able to sweep things into. So you can see here where I just draw out some rough angles to create that V shape that I'm looking for. And I start out with the idea that the actual support post for the dust pipe is actually going to rest on top of the dust sweep. But later you'll see I actually kind of changed that idea and end up using the support post as the back wall of the dust sweep as opposed to having it rest on top of the dust sweep. Now that I've got the rough shape of the dust sweep marked out, I cut it out on the table saw. So here I'm just going to freehand the angles because I'm not making fine furniture here. This is just a shop project so close enough is good enough for these angles. And now that I've got that basic shape cut out, the next is to put the hole in the top of it that the blast gate will go into. I decided just to have the blast gate fit directly against the dust sweep as opposed to having a piece of pipe between it because I want to make sure this is lower for all the dust ports that are going to be above it. So I measure the diameter of my blast gate and then quickly draw that circle out and cut it on the CNC. The blast gate itself is tapered and I'm going for just a nice friction fit in there. So just some quick sanding on my spindle sander to clean up that circle. The blast gate has a taper to it. So I sand the opening just enough to provide a nice snug friction fit for the blast gate to fit into. Off camera, I cut two one inch strips out of the plywood to form the sides of the dust sweep. In order to have the dust collection pipe lay flat against the support post, I needed to cut a dado into the support post to allow the blast gate to better align with the dust collection pipe. The table saw makes quick work of cutting this dado. Now I cut the sides to their final length. They need to be cut at an angle to be flush with the front and back of the dust sweep. I angle the table on my bandsaw to make these cuts. A little sanding of the cuts to clean them up and I glue it all together with wood glue and I use a few brad nails to hold it together while that glue dries. There you have it. 